parents have innumerable doubts about the do's and don'ts about their children's future and study habits. Every parent wants their child to excel in the field of studies, career or life. I am Dhriti V. Hegde and I will be interviewing Dr. N.K. Vijayan Karapil, a consultant educational psychologist who will be telling us a lot of information about parenting tips on learning to learn how to learn. Welcome sir. In this part of the interview, we will be discussing the exact or the most important time to study and also how the home environment plays a role in the study habits of a child. So the first and foremost question that comes into my mind when we think about the importance of time, when do the child exact sit to study? whether it is in the morning or at night what do you say about actually, it actually uh, time is not a major factor uh, affecting the rate of learning but in general morning would be fine for learning because uh, in the morning uh, the mind will be fresh and naturally during night after a prolonged day's work uh, he or she will be exhausted so definitely morning would be fine for learning. But uh, among children, there are basically two categories, the old category and the Skylar category. You know, some children, they'll be just uh, keep on postponing their studies. They will tell, I'll study in the morning, I'll study in the night. Uh, part of their uh, unending uh, procrastination, they will be postponing. But uh, based on their category of uh, learning, uh, parents can uh, encourage them. I would say one more thing, motivation is a major factor. If uh, the student is genuinely motivated, genuinely interested, time is not at all uh, going to be a factor. Uh, I just heard you mentioning something about the owl category and the skylark category. So could you please elaborate it on, on it? Yeah, uh, owl category means, uh, you know, some children uh, they would uh, prefer to sit uh, during night for a long time. Mm -hmm. For example, they'll be going on studying till 12 o'clock, uh, 1.30, 2 o'clock, even 2 o'clock. They uh, would be in all category because night they would prefer to sit for a long time. Whereas some children, uh, they sleep early and they will get up very early morning. Say for example, 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. It's not a problem for them. This group of children uh, include in uh, Skylar category. Uh, you know, of course, there are some children uh, they won't include in uh, either of these. Yeah. They will neither study in the morning nor study in the night, yes, of course. Yes, yes. So, what you're advising is that the parents need to identify which category their child belongs to and let them study whenever they want to study but still keep an eye on them whether they are actually doing it that time. Correct, correct. So I think I need to show this to my parents because I was always forced to study in the morning though I wanted to sit at night and study. Correct. So parents need to identify their children's preferences and uh, it is purely individual preferences and uh, individual differences are there in learning. Okay, okay sir. So, uh, at times I have heard people saying that heredity matters in the performance of a child. Does it really matter? Will the characteristic of parents or how intelligent they are matter on the study habits or the intelligence of the child? And how far is the home environment important in, in this area of studies? Uh, you know, in psychology it's a big argument. Uh, it's called uh, nature-nurture controversy, whether heredity or environment which is more powerful. Actually, it is uh, both are important. But uh, as you know, there is no point in uh, worrying about the heredity, chromosomes, genes and all that because uh, nobody has any control over it. So we need to think about the environment. You can see in the same home, uh, if there are four children, all the four children will be showing different Dif characteristics, character. different behavior. Uh, different temperaments and different achievements. So, uh, I would say environment is more powerful. That's why some of the psychologists like Jerome S. Bruno said, he said, uh, you give me any two children, I will make them what you want. So, he wanted to emphasize 
upon the the influence of environment so as parents we need to give them we, we need to provide them conducive environment so that any child can come up in life so your advice is though heredity plays a subtle role there you can rectify it by the environment that you're providing to your child and definitely. uh motivating them probably definitely definitely okay sir uh so talking about the environment at home or the home environment provided by the parents how do you exactly describe it for example if we take people who are well to do they can provide almost everything to their children maybe materialistic they can provide everything that is required whereas if we go to a little lower family they will try their best but not up to the mark of a higher family so does it matter in the performance of a child not at all because uh, you are talking about the materialistic aspects uh, i would say the the physiological aspects say for example food clothing and shelter uh, as per psychology it is nothing uh, whatever food whatever clothing whatever shelter whether uh, the child uh, stays in a hut or in a big concrete uh, forest it doesn't matter at all uh, what type of uh, psychological needs uh, each child has and how the child is getting satisfied uh, with these needs are most important so at home in every home uh, the parents will have to give a caring and uh, sharing kind of uh, atmosphere nowadays you know the problem is mm -hmm. uh, if uh, husband wife and child is there it's like uh, you have your own world uh, she has her own world and he has uh, his own world we don't have a common world that's the problem so uh, it's basically the question of giving quality time for children so sharing caring quality time psychological needs like uh, safety needs uh, belongingness needs like uh, love care consideration these are most important you can see in uh, schools and colleges some children are attention seeking mm -hmm. have you ever thought about why because they are not getting attention they are not getting love they are not getting consideration from home so they try to get it from elsewhere True. so what you're trying to say is every child is unique and parents will have to identify the characteristic of the child there and aid to the needs of the child individually rather than generalizing it and comparing it with somebody else's child Correct. so uh, thanks a lot sir for more tips on this topic parenting tips on learning to learn how to learn we will be back with the part 2 of this interview meanwhile please like and subscribe for our channel thank you